What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Friday morning, July 5th, 2024. And I am next to two of the Kiwi Tweets thermal imaging cameras. This is the KTI W02 and the KTI W01. One of these, one of these is gonna be given away to one of you later on in this video. Smash that thumbs up button in advance and I'd like to give a special shout out to today's sponsor, High Wheats, for sending us these two thermal imaging cameras to test an open box and give one away to one of you guys. Let's get going with today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, a little uh, after 8.30 in the morning here on Friday. Uh, running service calls today by myself. The rest of the team is off. Gave them a nice four-day weekend. Yep. And uh, as always, leading by example. Don't do as I say, do as I do. So we're going on our first service call. We have a very good longtime customer of ours that has no air conditioning in his home office. Let's go see what's going on over there. He asked for me to come early this morning before nine, so do my best to accommodate, and we should be there in about 10 minutes. So let's go see what's going on. Restore some air conditioning to his home office. That way he can be productive and he can pay Mikey pipes. <laughs> let's go. All right, I am at the client's home right now. I believe this is the unit that does the, uh, the home office. This unit is one of like six or seven this home has. Don't feel beer can cold, but it's definitely... Hmm. Yeah, this... <laughs> wow. Someone wasn't too bright, were they? good practice to hand them all their papers you know it shows that you really care all right here's that thermostat put it to cool 70 there's the click all right we're gonna take the gauges take my uh, little baby channel lock Definitely sounds something compressor related, but we're gonna find that momentarily. All right, let's. Definitely, it's very, very suspect here. Yeah, they're on there tight. No, not that one. All right. We have our Testo 557 digital four port manifold connected. That's what we're working with. I don't know. You know what? <laughs> that, <laughs> that is what you call expect the unexpected. What is up with that? Hold on, this can't be right. Okay. Maybe they weren't zeroed out before. Who knows, All right? Okay. up our liquid high pressure line okay 
let's do our low pressure suction. It's crazy, right? That is nuts. All right, something is definitely funky going on over here. Let me plug back in my compressor. That's, that is pretty effing crazy. That compressor was not running before. And I'm willing to bet with the, oh yeah. We definitely have a frozen evaporator. Absolutely. We definitely have a frozen evaporator. For sure. Okay. Yep. Now we have compressor. Okay. Let's, uh, let's store this in the off position. Okay. We got to come back. All right. Another observation. We don't have blower. No blower. <sighs> Let's see if I can get in there and see what's going on with this thing. All right. Surprisingly, not frozen. <laughs> I do see a UV bulb there. And there's the fixture. <sighs> My motor smells burnt. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's toasty. Probably, probably, maybe, just maybe capacitor, let's see. Yep, <laughs> the capacitor killed the system. So, crazy as this sounds, a $5 part killed a $200 motor which then killed a $20,000 system. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> oh my God, it sucks. So we have a 110, 115 volt air handler. So if we're gonna put in a Bosch to match all the other systems here, we're gonna have to upgrade the electric. Uh, let's unplug the, <sighs> the UV light, which is dead, obviously. So those pressures being equal, uh, being high and low like that, um, probably something, a valve, maybe a TXV, maybe something internal with the compressor shot, but that compressor wasn't running before. But this all stems from a $5 capacitor, which has a selling price of an installed price as a service, you know, 150 bucks, but... It shows you the collateral damage. One part to another, to another, to another. <sighs> sucks. Really sucks. You know, and I am just going to go get another five microfarad uh, single capacitor there. Just see for shits and giggles. Let's just see. You know, that's pretty epic, by the way. <laughs> that is pretty epic. <laughs> I did not expect to see that. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> Oof. The smell coming from the vent. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. saw that didn't you yeah. all right yeah see high amperage draw very high amperage draw no bueno she's toast i don't think they're open but
take two. I guess FW Web Company is not open today. Friday, July 5th. Dude, they're getting a Bosch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the Kai Wheats, the KTI W01. Opens up pretty easily. What do we got in there? Looks like we have a cord and a USB A adapter. A nice. Well, let me not destroy the box in case the winner wants the W01 instead of W02. Let's showcase the box right there on our smelting table. All right. Easy zipper, easy to operate. Wow, this is nice. Um, it has, you know, it's not heavy and it's also not light as well. Let's take a look at the lens cover. Okay, hinged. I see that. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Not too shabby. Let's see if we turn it on. It's got any juice in there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Not too shabby. Very nice. And uh, let's see what we see with this. Seeing the world with a thermal imaging camera. Okay. Here's our Bosch IDS 2.0. This is the five ton. This is the Bove uh, 60, BVA 60. You can see the temperature of our filter dryer. Or that could be the reflection off the, the light. It's 28. Wow, yeah, our filter dryer is noticeably warmer in temperature. Oh, yeah. Bi-directional. Let's take a look at our outdoor condensing unit. It's kind of hard to see with this the reflection here. Sorry, guys, we have a little reflection. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at our our door. See, we have a fairly well insulated door, a roof. Our roof temperature looks appears to be 30 degrees Celsius. Not too shabby. So uh, real quickly, let's talk about the KTI W01 that Kai Wheats was kind enough to send to us. And uh, one of the two is going to be given away. Uh, so this thermal imaging imager, this thermal imaging camera, has a high resolution, ultra high resolution of 256 by 192, with a thermal sensitivity of plus uh, of a little uh, under 50. Temperature resolution of uh, plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit, with a measure measurement of temperature error of two degrees plus or minus Celsius. It has a range of negative 20. Celsius to 550 Celsius, which, which is negative 4 to 1022 Fahrenheit. So this makes it an ideal tool uh, for home inspections, you know, looking for missing insulations, air leaks, water damage, even automotive maintenance, HVAC troubleshooting, and uh, specialized inspections of electromechanical systems like uh, my circuit breaker panel. Look at that. So we have 
There's the main light. Drawing a little bit more power there. Also my AC condensing unit. Air handler's pretty cool, but you know, if we had a very, very hot spot here, we would easily see that. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, so if you're interested in wanting to win one of these two thermal imaging cameras, rules are pretty simple. You have to be a subscriber to the channel. Okay. You have to give me a meaningful comment in this video as to why you should win the camera. Okay? And if you are selected by me, moi, Mikey Pipes, I will reach out to you by email from my email address, mike at mikeypipes.com, and, and or I'll also give you a call. So a special shout out to Kai Weeks for sending us these two cameras. I don't generally do any uh, brand promotions or things like that, but when I do, uh, it's something that, uh, a tool that I believe you can use in the trades to make your job better and more professional. Why not, right? And at a good price point, it, it's even better. I remember buying my first thermal imaging camera for Pipe Doctor about 15 years ago. I spent over $3,000 for the FLIR i7 thermal imaging camera. And I gotta tell you, in the first job or two, it paid for itself. So you need the right tools for the job. And if we have the right tools for the job together, we can make the trades great again. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for Kai Weeks for sending us the KTI W01 and the W02. Good luck to all you guys. May the best comment win.